dental fillings that kill bacteria and remineralize the tooth, plus root causes of dental phobia. It's Friday, June 29th, and this is DPR Friday. Welcome to this week's episode of DPR Friday. I'm Thais Carter, Director of Content for Advanced Star Dental Media. It was recently announced that, using nanotechnology, scientists at the University of Maryland School of Dentistry have created the first composite material that can also kill harmful bacteria as it regenerates tooth structure lost to bacterial decay. After a dentist drills out a decayed tooth, the cavity still contains residual bacteria. Dr. Hawken Shu, Director of the Division of Biomaterials and Tissue Engineering in the school's Department of Endodontics, Prosthodontics, and Operative Dentistry, says it is not possible for a dentist to remove all the damaged tissue, so it's important to neutralize the harmful effects of the bacteria, which is just what the new nanocomposites are able to do. The researchers also have built antibacterial agents into primer used first by dentists to repair a drilled out tooth cavity and into adhesives that dentists spread into the cavity to make a filling stick tight to the tissue of the tooth. The reason we want to get the antibacterial agents also into primers and adhesives is that these are the first things that cover the internal surfaces of the tooth cavity and flow into tiny dental tubules inside the tooth, says Shu. The main reason for failures in tooth restorations is secondary caries or decay at the restoration margins. Applying the new primer and adhesive will kill the residual bacteria, he says. The new products have been laboratory tested using biofilms from saliva of volunteers, and the SHU team is planning to next test its products in animal teeth and in human volunteers in collaboration with the Federal University of Sierra in Brazil. The University of Maryland has patents pending on the nanocomposite and the primer and adhesive technologies. In other news, who do you think your most fearful patients are? Well, according to a study into dental anxiety and phobia conducted by the University of Sydney, women in their 40s are more likely to have dental anxiety than any other age group. It is found women in this age group are most likely to have perceived a traumatic dental experience, abuse, trauma, and oral facial trauma. They are also more likely to have higher levels of depression, general anxiety, or suffer from stress. Whether your own professional experience syncs with the Sydney study or not, maybe this is the week you go the extra mile for a 40-something lady in your practice. For those of you watching on YouTube, if you like what you see and want to make sure you get the latest and greatest from DPR, subscribe to our YouTube channel here. That's it for today's episode. For more on the latest products and industry news, don't miss DPR Friday next week and every week. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Oh,